Hello football fans. We are back on the pitch for match number nine of the uh, 2018 Tottenham Spurs replay or Tottenham Hotspur replay. Uh, today, uh, Liverpool comes to Wembley and this was again match nine of the season. Uh, it's been a minute since I played so I am sure this game will have a mistake or two but uh, We'll get it rolling. Uh, Liverpool presents a uh, dangerous matchup for Tottenham. Uh, every bit as potent offensively as Spurs are. And probably not as good man for man in the back, but still solid enough. And their goalkeeper, uh, Karius, uh, really good on the spectacular saves and decent on reaction and on target shots. Lloris. Uh, better on on target shots and Larice has a horrible reaction So he will not be winning that battle and Liverpool is going to kick it off So minute one we are underway Oh two other things too with substitutes uh, I really haven't liked the way that uh, the rolling the dice for substitutes after the uh, 60th minute has played out um, or at, I'm sorry, 70th minute. Uh, so at any point in time that I feel a need to sub, I'm just going to use common sense. And if the team is ahead, uh, they'll get a defensive sub more than likely. And conversely, if they're behind an offensive sub, I, I just think that makes more sense than putting a potentially losing someone. Um, Harry Kane, for example, who would never go out if Spurs were uh, tied or losing 1-0. And the other thing with the uh, green six on the uh, initial roll, I'm only going to switch players primary to secondary positions one through five. If it's a green six, I'm going to leave everyone as is. So those two slight changes as we start this match with a build up, and this will be the hard tactic or hard trait. I'm sorry. So for uh, Spurs, they have. Just two with that uh, trait, and actually Liverpool has zero. So there is going to be an attack by Spurs to open this up, a potential attack. Okay, and five. Actually should have switched on that first one too and did not. Like I said, a little bit rusty. Uh, so six. All right, so six. Uh, Tottenham does, does have actually six triangles and Liverpool needs two squares to defend. They do so. So Liverpool takes back possession and threes. I didn't uh, do this the first time. And five is going to be a referee's decision. And seven, neutral referee, defense, yellow card, and direct free kick. So yellow card is going to go to Trippier. And direct free kick for Liverpool. And 11, that's going to be a corner kick. So ball deflected out of bounds. And 8 on the corner, and this will turn into a build up. And the trait here is going to be tactics. So for uh, the Reds, four and Tottenham has 
five, so Spurs are going to win that. And looking to uh, our defense, actually, will take possession on the... Uh, and I am rusty. All right, Spurs have possession and rolling the next segment, sorry. Uh, nine is going to be a sideline battle. And that is going to be 6-3 uh, three is three minutes. And then three on that uh, team with the most ball symbols will win the sideline battle. Spurs have four. And Liverpool also has four. So we'll go to the decider die and home team. Spurs win it. All right. And Dyer and Vertonghen switch again. And an eight again will be a buildup. And again will be the tactics trade. So Spurs now have tactics across the board, all five spots. Uh, they will initiate an attack. Four, they have enough triangles. Even switching Ali. And one is going to be defended. So O4 wide and D4 collects with a ball and Miller has that. So Liverpool back in possession, eighth minute. Uh, we will definitely get going a little bit quicker. Like I said, extremely rusty. All right, nine is going to be another sideline battle. This will be a two minute sideline battle and visiting team is going to win that. So Liverpool retains possession and we are 10 minutes in. Seven, we're going to have a midfield battle, three minutes, and team with the most strong starts the next minute on attack. So both teams playing cautiously here early on, and only one attack chance so far strong across uh, the board for both teams. So we will go to the decider die, and that is going to be Liverpool. It starts the next minute on attack. So Spurs facing their first threat, and Firmino switches with Salah, seven, or one, uh, definitely have enough triangles there, and six, that is going to be out of the square range. So on target, and that is going to be 0-1 shoot. And that will be Salah that takes the shot. And again, a green one and no, uh, oops, sorry. no roll for the assist. He's on his own and he has got five stars. So here goes a shot and no switch. One, definitely within and three, Larice makes it, uh, she makes the save. So saved and a roll of four, a square on defense of four, collects ball, otherwise O2 gets a rebound shot, and Trippier does have the four. So on target shot and a save there, and Tottenham, 14th minute, takes possession. And I'm way rustier than I thought. <laughs> Eight is going to be a build up, no switching on the green six, and this will be a star. Uh, trait so stars five for Tottenham and only four for uh, Liverpool so Tottenham and six triangles needed to start the attack and not going to happen and that is going to be a roll of 12 and offensive five with the ball will collect so they miss there and Vertonghen collects the stray shot and they will set back up
Young Min's son and Erickson swap and roll of four, and that's going to be a home field advantage. Home field starts an attack, and here comes Spurs again. No switching. A one, definitely uh, enough triangles there. Three, and they have only two squares up, so this is going to be a successful attack. And four, this is going to be a 0-1 shoot, so Harry Kane gets the shot, and it is going to be a spectacular save required. by the goalkeeper. So Erickson and Human Sung switch. And a six, and I did not do the assist on that. So six stars, and actually it doesn't matter on spectacular save, I need to go, go to that chart. So spectacular save, 11. Five stars are better saved. And here comes a shot from Kane. And four stars, go! Harry Kane has put Spurs on top. And that is his uh, third goal of the season thus far. It comes in the 15th minute. So Kane... Unassisted, drives that by Karius, and Spurs take the lead. And that is the first on-target shot of the afternoon for Tottenham. So Liverpool now in the 16th minute. Uh, Milner and Can switch. Six, going to be a take-on. So this will be uh, Sun against Can, And the take-on will be the... Um, Hard trait. Sun Young Min does not have that, and Can does. So Liverpool now going to generate an attack out of this. Needing four, and that is going to be successful. And Tottenham only has three uh, squares up. So eight is going to be an 0 2 shoots, and Two would be the assist player again, so main shooting without the benefit of an assisting player. Three, he's got enough for the shot, and six, Larice and main blows it past to Larice, unable to make the save. And that is going to be keeper dives, cannot get it, and green six, uh, not applicable here, so. Liverpool strikes right back. And this one turning into a potentially high scoring affair. Uh, two goals in the first 16 minutes as Maine, or Mane, sorry, scores for Liverpool. The one thing about this game is. Uh, now, yeah, the fact that I'm rusty is getting back into pronouncing these names. I actually haven't watched a whole bunch of uh, EPL football, football uh, this season yet, so not completely in that mindset. Uh, and here we go. Kane switches out. 11, that's going to be a corner. And green one, so corner kick. Deflected out of bounds. Lamella, primary for Kane. And six, just going to be a miss there. And that will be a take on and will be the tactics trait. So four versus two. Uh, Trippier does have tactics and Mene does as well. It's going to go to Visitor, so a defense there. And Liverpool now in possession. 10, and that will be a tackle. Defensive team has a square, it gains possession, which it does. Twentieth minute. And Trippier and Aurier switch three. And we're going to have a highlight reel play. And 
and this will be on the M table. Trippier back in, and 12, a rare result. So we now go to the rare chart. And these two can't decide who wants to be primary. Four on the rare highlight result, or result chart. Team with possession rolls again on the B chart. It's turning into the longest minute ever. No switch and eight. Defender, green die player in the box, knocks away a shot with arm, shown yellow card, offense gets a penalty kick. And with a roll of six, that is going to be a null. So play will continue and Spurs will just have them retain possession. Nine is going to be a sideline battle of three minutes. And six, home team maintains possession, 24th minute. Six will be a take on threes, Davies and Catino. And this will be the touch trait. And Catino has touch, and so does Davies. Go to the decider die, and home team gets it. So we have another attack coming by Spurs. No switch, and six going to be needed. Not happening, and uh, is defended. So a miss, and 11 4 collects with a ball. He does not. Goes over to Liverpool. Spurs fourth shot, Liverpool in possession now. Seven's going to be a two minute midfield battle. And most touch starts the next minute on attack. A touch across the board for uh, Liverpool. Spurs are one down, so Liverpool is going to generate an attack potentially. And six on the black die. One, two, three, four, five, six, got it, and three, and able to defend is Spurs. So, O3 wide, and O2 collects with a ball, and Sturge does not have it, so it goes over to Tottenham. Into the 28th minute now, and Harry Kane back on the pitch. He has one goal already in this match. Eight is going to be a build-up, and the pace trait. So for pace, everybody on the pitch has it for Spurs, and Liverpool does not. So Spurs are going to generate an attack now. Eriksen and Sun switch. Four, good to go there, and that is above. So eight, uh, oh, I'm sorry, eight, oh, two shoots, and again, two would have been the assister, so this is Sun all by his lonesome. Needs a three, and he's got it, and Karius makes the save. So two there, and three uh, squares on defense, D3 collects, otherwise O3 oh, shoots, and do they have three squares? They do not. So save and 03 going to take the shot now. That's Ben Davies. And Davies not successful there. And seven, that is going to be a rebound for Kane, and goalie must make a spectacular save. And 11 on a spectacular save, and Kane blasts it in, and that is a goal! Harry Kane with his second of the game. So off a save on the shot by Davies, Kane swoops down on the rebound and scores. And Spurs lead this 2-1 to one as Harry Kane in the 30th minute gets his second goal. And again, that will be unassisted. So 31st minute now, and Liverpool resumes the action. 9, going to be a 3-minute sideline battle. And visiting team 
and we'll maintain control. So Spurs res or, uh, Liverpool resetting, another three minute sideline battle and home team is going to take over. Into the 37th minute now, Spurs in possession. And eight, we are going to have a build up with the tactics trade. And for Tottenham, everybody on the pitch has tactics and they're gonna start the attack or get an attack. Six, and this time they do not have six triangles up. And eight, oh two wide, oh one will collect with the ball and Harry Kane actually can switch him. Lamella does not have a ball. So miss there and Liverpool takes over. Liverpool has only generated two shots, both on target. One has gone in. And 12 are going to be a counterattack. If defensive team has two squares, it gains possession and immediate counterattack. It does have two squares. And four. All right, so one on the black die, definitely have those triangles up. And six is going to be not enough squares, so seven. And this will be 01 shoot, and we will have an assister on this. Uh, Trippier with two stars, Lamella with a single, so three stars are better for the shot. Trippier passes it into Lamella, here comes a shot, and on target, and four, and Karius can't get to it, Lamella, chipped into the ball, or chipped into the air by Trippier, and Lamella heads it in, and Spurs now have jumped out to a three to one lead. Uh, this offensive explosion has been totally shocking at this point. As Spurs have struggled at times. So coming in the 40th minute, Lamella with the assist from Trippier and Tottenham now has a three to one lead. All three of their on target shots have found the twine in this one. So 41st minute and Liverpool really trying to get back into this. We have a build up star trade. And Liverpool has four stars on the pitch as the Spurs. Going to be the visiting team. So Liverpool looking to draw one back before halftime. One definitely good there and need four squares do not have it. So there's going to be an attack generated now. 04 or 05 shoots. Uh, we'll go with 0. Hey. It really doesn't matter either way because if we go with 04 and use 5 for the assist, he has the scissors which is going to cut that. So we will just go with 05 shoots. One star needed. Boring in on goal is Leverin. And 4, it's going to be saved by Lloris. Five, two squares at D4 collects, otherwise O2 gets a rebound shot. And Trippier only has a single. So that will be a rebound shot by O1. Mark that save first off. So this is going to play into Larissa's weakness. He is horrible on reaction saves. He's only one star. And Firmino needs a three for the shot. He's got it and puts it away. Liverpool drawing one back. A goal in the 41st minute and it is now three to two. So Firmino swoops on that rebound and Lloris is notoriously slow in getting to a reaction save. So it is three to two and Spurs have a regular shootout going here. Six is going to be a take on. 
Five and one, Eric Dyer versus Firmino. And three will be the strong uh, trait. Both of them have it. Go to the decide or die, and that is going to be defended. So Liverpool, in the 43rd minute, still has time to pull out another one. Nine is going to be a sideline battle, however, and a three-minute sideline battle. Uh, one visitor team gets the attack, visiting team, I should say. And this will be the final minute of the first half. Or gets the ball, sorry. Uh, four will be home field advantage, home team creates attack. So one last chance before the half is up. And two... Definitely good there. Four, they do not have four squares up, so six. Uh, six on target is going to be 0-3 with the shot. And Trippier, so this is going to be a four or better. And Deli Ali shoots, and that one goes in. Karius can't get to that, and at the end of the half in stoppage time, Spurs extend the lead again. So 45th minute officially for Deli Ali with the assist from Trippier. And Spurs, what has been a wide open, a very, very wide open first half. Spurs have four shots, eight shots total, four on target. All four on target have gone in. Liverpool has bounced back with two of their own. So a 4-2 halftime lead, definitely uh, Tottenham's best offensive output of the year and surprising. Liverpool plays a wide open game and that has apparently played into Spurs' hands in this one. So Spurs will start the second half and switching Ali and Davies. Seven's gonna be a three minute midfield battle to start the half. And team with most strong starts the next minute on attack. So for Spurs, they have four of five strong. Liverpool is five for five. So Liverpool going to start minute 49 on the attack here. And we need four triangles easily, two squares to defend, and that will be defended. So six. That will be a 0-1 wide. So Lamella with the miss. And a D5 with the ball picks it up. Lovren does have that. So Liverpool back in possession. And 2-9 is going to be a two-minute sideline battle. And two, team with most ball symbols. Four for uh, the Reds and only three for Spurs. So Liverpool maintaining possession. Can and Milner switch and six gonna be a take on. Four against two. So Milner going against Sun. And this will be a touch take on, and both players have touch. So we go to the decider die. Home team gets it, and that will be defended, and Spurs take possession. 54th minute, no switch. Seven will be a six minute midfield battle, so Spurs looking to slow it down now. And team with most star starts the next minute with an attack. So for Spurs, they have stars in four or five spots, as does Liverpool. So again, go to the decider die, and Spurs will start the 60th minute on attack. And subs are good at any point from this uh, time to the end of the match. 
Uh, one and one, that will be easily defended. So that will be D1 with the ball collects that. And Soleil has that. So a miss and Liverpool, that was Spurs' 10th shot. Liverpool takes possession. And five, we go to the referee's decision chart here. All right, so on the decision chart, roll of four, we still have a neutral referee. Uh, roll one die, one to five, defense, trap works, offside's called, D6, trap fails, 0-1, haul down, penalty kick. Oh, boy. Here we go, one to five. Come on, you Spurs, and they get it, offside. So Spurs take over. 62nd minute. No subs as of yet. Uh, loosening up is Musa Dembele for Spurs. He will come into the midfield and add some defensive heft. So for Spurs, it will be a take on, and this will be hard. Three against three, Davies against uh, Catino. And Catino is going to defend, and position goes back over to Liverpool. So finally, almost two-thirds of the way through the game, I'm getting back into the swing of this. I do need to play this more often. It's a great game. Uh, midfield battle, mark off five minutes. And then at that point, team with most tactics will start the next minute on attack. So tactics for Liverpool, they've got it in four or five spots and Spurs tactics across the board and they're going to start the 68th minute on attack and after this we will do our subs. So we need five triangles up, that is going to be defended however. So six, O1 wide, D5 with the ball collects, which he does have. All right, and let's go to the subs. Uh, so for Spurs, in for uh, Ali will be, or not Ali, Davies will be Moussa Dembele. And he does have a square, so he's gonna get a blue chip. And chips again, this basically adds six squares to uh, Tottenham's total unless he gets switched. Uh, it can also be used to uh, switch players in any box, team's own or opponent's. Uh, can be used to win a sideline battle. And also can be used to prevent a rebound shot instead of a shot. The defense will gain possession. And for Liverpool, they need some firepower. They really... Uh, Their bench is horrible. So they're going to bring. Oh yeah, yeah. They're going to bring Winaldum in. And this is a case where he, he's playing out of position in the back, but he adds another uh, triangle. So they're going with the offensive attacking option at the uh, sacrifice, uh, sacrificing defense. Now with the red chip, one, he's out of position, but two, if he switches, uh, the chip can be moved to another player. Uh, you do not lose a chip there. And it would go to another player of the same position, either in the same position box or a different one. Actually, I want to make sure I did that right. And actually, I uh, cannot give a midfielder a red chip, so we can't sub him. Like I said, rework in progress, so we will go with a forward. Uh, we're going to go with Danny Ings. Yeah, 
he's going to be the best option. So we'll go with him back here to add some offensive, extra offensive firepower. So if he switches, I could move his chip uh, up to uh, Firmino or whoever else is in the forward box, Firmino or Salah. So that is how that works. And we're back in Liverpool with possession. And they do switch indeed. So we're going to move that red chip up to Firmino. And at this point, um, it does have to be used. So nine, and that will be a sideline battle, a three-minute sideline battle, which is not what uh, Liverpool needs at this point in the match. I'm okay with it. And four, team with most ball symbols will win. One, two, three, four for Liverpool. Uh, one, two, three, four for Tottenham. So decide or die, and Spurs get possession. 72nd minute. Five for Tongan and seven. That'll be a five minute midfield battle. So, second half slowing down drastically as Spurs just looking to play keep away. And team with most tactics starts the next minute on attack. Spurs have tactics across the board or pitch. And Liverpool is missing one. So, Spurs start the 77th minute with an attack. And Harry Kane back up and four. Going to get it done there, but one, they have one square on the board, so that will be defended. And five, 04 wide, D4 collects with the ball. He does have the ball. So Spurs with the miss. And collecting will be Milner. So no change there. Seven, that's bad though, a six minute midfield battle. Bad if you're a Liverpool fan. Like I said, I'm okay with it. So a team with most stars starts the next minute on attack. So one, two, three, four. We got five stars across the board and Spurs gonna start a late attack, 84th minute. Uh, Dyer and Vertonghen will switch. Uh, six, we do not have six, try actually, well, that's going to be a defensive, so never mind. Uh, do not have six triangles up, so that is going to be a miss. And 04 can collect with a ball, and Trippier does have that. So Trippier, Tottenham is playing an unusually a solid defense. Trippier collects the stray shot, and Spurs retain possession. Five going to the referee's decision chart. And three, still a neutral referee, a defense foul, direct free kick. All right, so Spurs stepping up to take the direct free kick and nothing happening on that chart. 10, we go to tackle and defense does have a square in place so that will be defended. Liverpool takes possession. We are in the 86th minute now. Time is running out for the Reds. This will be a big win for Spurs. Six be a take on and take on with a strong trait. Five and uh, five and one strong. So Lovren has it and Harry Kane does too. To the decide or die we go and that will be defended by Spurs. And they take possession. 87th minute. No switching, a take on result, and this will be the star trade. One and five, Kane and Lovren again. Uh, Lovren does not have the star trade, so Spurs going to generate another attack, and they lose their blue chip. So, so much for the defensive advantage. No worries, though. Uh, three stars, and they have that. Three triangles are not up for Liverpool. So this is going to be six. Oh, three shoots, so there will be no assist. Ali doing it himself. Two stars, dribbles into the top of the box, shoots. And that's going to be saved. And 10 controlled by D3, so Oxlade Chamberlain takes possession.
That is now Spurs' 15th shot. Liverpool still only has six in this one. And 88th minute, they have to make something happen quick. Sturridge and Mane change. Four and home field advantage. Home team generates attack. Move to the 89th minute and here comes Spurs again. So Spurs playing easily their best match of the year. Attack is going to be successful and they do not have enough triangles to defend that. So five is going to be 04 or 05 shoots for Spurs. And it doesn't really matter. They're both horrible. Uh, we'll go with um, yeah, like I said, it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll go with Trippier and uh, Dyer will defend. So one star needed here and that is going to be easily saved. Actually makes it worse. Uh, so six on that and six. Two uh, squares at D5 collects. Otherwise, 0-1 gets a rebound shot. And do we have two? We do not. So Harry Kane, and Harry Kane going to get the rebound shot here if he stays on the board. Three, and Kane, does he have three stars on the shot? He does. Kane blasts away on the rebound, and Kane gets it past Dakarius. Three stars for his reaction, and Harry Kane has the hat trick. So Spurs dominating in this one. As Harry Kane cements this with a goal in the 89th minute. And Kane, again with the hat trick, his third goal of the game, scoring in the 15th minute, the 30th minute, and here in the 90th minute to go with goals by Lamella and also Dele Ali. So Spurs now five to two and the crowd is delirious and we will roll for stoppage time. Uh, Spurs going to kill six minutes, wow. So Spurs will definitely try and kill the clock if they get possession at this point in the match. So seven and actually that's gonna kill it all by itself. A six minute midfield battle. So we will have one opportunity left for Liverpool to salvage some decency here. Uh, team with most stars starts the next and last minute on the attack. And stars across the board for Spurs. Liverpool only has four. So Tottenham's going to take possession and they're just going to kill the clock. And this match is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. So Spurs unleashing a... Uh, a veritable fusillade of golds in this one. 17 shots, six on target, and five finding the back of the net. And definitely, uh, again, Spurs' best performance of the replay thus far. For Liverpool, six shots, four on target, two of them found the back of the net. Each team with a foul. Corner kicks were really at a premium. There was actually only one in this entire game. Two, two, one each. Uh, one yellow card went out to Trippier for Spurs and no reds. So there you have it. Uh, back on the pitch. And again, I know it took literally took half the game to get back into the swing of this. I know I screwed some things up early in the first half. Uh, but second half, <clears throat> excuse me, we were back on track. And again, I just need to not go so long between matches in this, so we will definitely try and get another uh, Spurs match up by this weekend, or, or no later than this weekend, so that it stays fresh. So a good, uh, good win for Tottenham, and you can see coming into this match where they sat. Uh, coming in, Liverpool was sitting in seventh place with four wins, two draws, two losses, 14 goals or 14 points on 11 goals, four, seven against. And Spurs, two spots above them in fifth. They should move up after we replay the other games. But uh, coming in with five wins, no draws, and three losses. 
15 points, 11 goals for and 7 against for Spurs as well. And they'll definitely expand that differential in this one. So a great win for Spurs. And especially Harry Kane. Harry Kane had only two goals coming in, tied with four other players for the team lead. So his hat trick gives him five now. And Dele Ali adds his third. And again, the other score is Lamella. That is his second of the season. And that completes the scoring for Spurs. So, uh, glad again, glad to be back at this. Uh, this is definitely a very fun game. Keith Avalone at play.com. Check them out if you have not uh, given their site a look. I'm sure most everyone who watches these videos by on any channel has, uh, is aware of play. But uh, definitely a game to pick up. Um, it flows real well. Again, you just have to play it frequently so you're not constantly... Uh, checking or questioning or just missing things like I know I did early on, but uh, we'll get that sorted out. So again, as always, thanks for watching. If you like the video and content, please hit the thumbs up and remember to support the friends of the channel. And next up, uh, before we get to our next Tottenham replay, uh, really only two uh, active projects going on now uh, with some sporadic glory days step boxing stuff, but uh, next up, we'll do another Fergie Jenkins replay. And after uh, Fergie is complete, and that'll be start 24 coming up, so we're getting close on him. I think he had 35 starts in 1969 or 36. Uh, after we get through with the Fergie replay, we're going to um, do a Stratomatic Dead Ball project. And this is an idea that I've... Uh, been kicking around. I've, I've kind of gone back and forth on different things to do with baseball replays. And you know, I don't always want to do pitching replays. There's a lot of those out there. So the uh, Strat dead ball is going to uh, harken back to my youth. Not that I was alive in the dead ball era, but um, back in the 70s, growing up in the 70s and uh, uh, early 80s, Really, the, the one thing with baseball is you didn't have the glut of it you do now. So we uh, always look forward to that Saturday game of the week. And that's what the uh, next baseball project will be after I'm done with Fergie. Is It'll be a Strat replay, 1911. And it will be the 1911 game of the week. So every Saturday through, throughout the 1911 season, I will pick an intriguing matchup uh, based on teams and or pitchers or effect on the pennant and we will replay that so I, I think that'll be a lot of fun we'll uh, make sure we get uh, every team in both leagues on there at least once or twice and uh, be good to uh, I, like I said I love the dead ball air is definitely my favorite time period of baseball so that'll be uh, something I'm looking forward to and like I said as soon as Fergie's done we'll get going on that and uh, plan on seeing this to fruition as well but as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, keep rolling for that top upper corner of the net, and we'll see you later.